Document-based question. Read and analyze the documents below in order to answer the following prompt. Why did cities flourish in post-classical China? For each document, you need to complete the genre-based thinking job. Two points. Source A, excerpts from the history of Chinese emperors. These are translations of a few of the earlier imperial decrees for the creation and extension of parts of the Grand Canal. In 584, Emperor Yang Yan gave the order, build the canal from the Wei Shui in Daxing to the Yellow River to enable grains transport in an inland waterway. In 587, Emperor Yang Yan ordered, dig the canal of Shan Yang Du in Yang's Hao to create a waterway. 33, source A, genre-based thinking job. T-A-O-T. -T. Pause the video to write your genre-based thinking for source A here. Source B, map of China's Grand Canal. The Grand Canal is the longest canal or artificial river in the world and measures over 1,000 miles long. It was completed in 609 CE. 34 Source B genre based thinking job. T and AOT. Pause the video to write your genre based thinking job for Source B here. Source C. Matteo Ricci, 16th century. The Grand Canal was originally begun by Emperor Yang of the Sui Dynasty, 6th century, when the Ming Emperor moved the capital from Nanjing to Beijing in the 15th century. The canal needed to be expanded further north. Ricci was an Italian Jesuit priest who spent many years in China. The cost of maintaining these canals, which constant chiefly in keeping them navigable, able for boats to move, mounts to a million a year, as mathematicians would express it. All this may seem rather strange to Europeans, who may judge from maps that one could take a shorter and less expensive route to Beijing by sea. This may be true enough. But the fear of the sea and the pirates who infest the sea has so penetrated the Chinese mind that they believe the sea route would be far more hazardous or dangerous for conveying provisions to royal court. 35. Genre-based thinking job. Pause the video to write your T and AOT for source C here. Source D. Marco Polo's travels. The city of Suhu is a city located along the Grand Canal. Susu is a very great and noble city. The people are subjects of the great Khan and have paper money. They possess silk in great quantities from which they made gold, brocade, and other stuffs, and they live by their manufacturers and trade. The city is very great, as large as 60 square miles. It contains merchants of great wealth and an incalculable, too great to count, number of people. Indeed, if the men of this city and the rest of the country had the spirit of soldiers, they would conquer the world. But they are not soldiers at all, only accomplished traders and most skilled craftsmen. There are also in this city many great philosophers and others who do not appear to work. 36. Genre-based thinking job. Pause the video to write your T and AOT for source D here. Source E, Marco Polo's Travels, City of Hangzhou. Its streets and canals are extensive, and there are squares or marketplaces, which being necessarily proportioned in size to the prodigious, impressive concourse of people by whom they are frequented, are exceedingly spacious. It is situated between a lake of fresh and very clear water on one side and a river of great magnitude on the other. It is commonly said 
that the number of bridges of all sizes amounts to 12,000. Those which are thrown over the principal most important canals are connected with the main streets, have arches so high and built with so much skill that vessels or ships with their masts can pass under them, while at the same time carts and horses are passing over their heads. So well is the slope, gradual height, from the street adapted to the height of the arch. If they were not in fact so numerous, there would be no convenience of crossing from one place to another. 37. John R. Base Thinking Job Pause to write your John R. Base Thinking Job for source E here. Okay, before you write, you have planning space. If you want to write an outline, your question that you're going to answer in your writing is why did cities flourish in post-classical China? Flourish means to do great, to be successful. So why did cities flourish in post-classical China? Remember to go back to all of the sources that you read to find evidence to support your answer. When you're ready, here are your directions for writing. Based on the information you gathered in sources A through E, write an essay answering the following. Why did cities flourish in post-classical China? In your response, make sure to include a thesis that clearly answers the question. Two points. Include evidence from at least three sources. Six points. Remember, if you are not bubbling in an answer, you're just leaving this number on your bubble sheet blank because that's where Mr. Malbro is going to bubble in your score. You can pause this video, go back to the sources if you need to read them, but you're going to take the rest of your time to write your essay that answers this question. Why did cities flourish in post-classical China? Include a thesis, which is like a claim. And then you need your evidence from at least three of the sources. You have plenty of space. You're going to do great. Take your time. Raise your hand if you need help.